This is how you add multiple repeats of fields to your Elemental single post template without having to use a third party premium plugin. I'm very quickly going to run through the basics over adding in the repeat field using the advanced custom fields plugin, which you can get for free. However, you will need the pro version if you want to do repeat of fields. Now, there are ways you can do this natively, and I have got some videos on that. But I do recommend using a plugin mainly because repeater fields can get quite messy. So I've got field group over here called post ACF. I'm going to add in a new field. We're going to click the field type. I'm going to scroll down until I get to repeater, pick it, and I'm going to call this car types. Uh, and that will now give us a field name. And basically, I'm now just going to add in my fields to that repeater. So we will have name. And I'm going to add in another field, which will be make. And we're going to hit save changes. That is the repeater field. And inside of there, there are two additional fields. Okay, name and make. So what I want is every time you go and fill one of them in, if you want to add in another name and another make, you can do. You will now see car type appear at the bottom here. We got name and we've got make. I'm going to click add row. And now I'm going to complete the first one. Series four, BMW will be the make. Let's add in another row, CHR, and we'll go for Toyota. So can you see here how normally you would do individual fields? So location, well, once I've added in London, if I want to now do New York, I've got to have a completely separate field, which would be called location two or location three. But here I can keep adding rows on and on and on. And we'll add in a last one. We'll type in Puma and we'll go for Ford. OK, so now we have three makes or three mod car types that I've added in. I'm not going to hit update. I've gone over to a single post template. Now, normally when you are adding in custom fields, you drop in a heading or a text editor like this. You go and hit the dynamic tag. You would then scroll down, pick your ACF field. And here's where the problem starts. We've got location and car park spaces. But where's the car type one? This is where you would need a third party plugin. Now, Dynamic Oo is really, really good at this, but Dynamic Oo gives you loads of other stuff that you can do for dynamic versatility with your website. And I'm not knocking it. It is a super plugin to use. But if all you ever needed to do was return a repeater field, sometimes purchasing a third party plugin for that one little thing is a little bit of an overkill. And I'm not knocking the plugin. But this is where a code snippet can massively help you out. So here's what you need to do. Go over to your snippets and you can go and get code snippets for free from the WordPress repository. Click add new, give it a title, then paste in the code. Now there are multiple versions to this code. This is the one with bullets. So you'll have a line per item separated by bullets. This also is using a slightly refined version where it brings back two fields. So what you can see here is the car type is the repeater field. But we have two fields inside. We have field one, which is the name and field two, which is the make. If you only had one field like name and you didn't have any other fields within the repeater, there is a link to a singular field repeater type of code, which you might want to go and click and use that instead. So anyway, what we're going to do now is just show you the details that you need to change in here to make sure it works for your repeater field. Step one, decide on what your short code is going to be called, because this snippet creates a short code. I'm just going to leave it as show required. Then decide on the ID of your repeater field. Now, in our case, it's car types, car underscore types. If you're unsure of what your IDs were, just go back into advanced custom field and you'll see the word car types. And if you're unsure about the field, again, open it up and you'll now see the names here, name and make. If this was called car name, the ID would be car underscore name. It kind of creates it for you, but you can go and modify that. Anyway, let's go back here. So car types, right? You put it there and you put it there. That's your ID. Then you go and pop in your field. So again, this code, which is using more than one field within the repeater field, you've got field one equals name, field two equals make. Notice I'm using the ID. Then below here, I'm now saying, what do I want you to return? So inside the syntax for that list item, I want the name, colon. I then want that field. I then want space pipe space make colon like that okay so if you want to go and modify that go ahead do that so back in our single post template we are now going to drop in a short code like that we're going to put open square bracket i'm going to go back over to my snippet in case you've forgotten i'm going to copy over show required i'm going to paste that in and i'm going to close off the bracket and then i'm going to hit update now you probably sometimes it doesn't show it in this scenario it did return it really quickly if ever it doesn't show it to you, don't worry, just go to your preview and you'll see it. So what we get here is a bullet, right? We get name, we get the name, we get a pipe, mate. You can basically see what it's doing. 
And if you don't like the comma being there at the moment, we go back over to the snippet, you'll see I have a comma there. So you can get rid of it. I'm just showing you, okay, that look, whatever you add there is what's going to be returned. If I go back to save changes, that comma has now disappeared. How simple and easy was that without having to use a third party plugin? Yeah, I know code snippets is a third party plugin, but believe me, you'll be using the code snippets plugin for a whole lot more than just the repeater field. And just to show you, here's another version of the code using the same fields, but this time it will not have the bullets in for you. And a link for that is in the video description as well. I hope that helps you out with adding repeater fields to your elemental page without now having to purchase a third party premium plugin if that's the only feature you need. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.